Hi guys! The identification for halides involves the addition of nitric acid followed by silver nitrate and then ammonia. I'm here today to talk shortly about why silver chloride is soluble in ammonia, silver bromide is only soluble in concentrated ammonia, and silver iodide doesn't seem to dissolve at all. So first take a look at the dissolution of these silver halides in water. Silver chloride is the most soluble and silver iodide is the least soluble in water. This is because while all the halides have plus one charge, iodide ion has the largest radius and therefore it is the most polarizable. Because iodide is polarizable, that means silver iodide has a high covalent character. Covalent compounds are less soluble in water than ionic compounds. And also, having the least charge density means that iodide has a weaker attraction with water molecules. And thus, the hydration enthalpy of iodide is less exothermic than the hydration enthalpy of chloride or bromide. The less exothermic the hydration enthalpy, the less soluble the substance. The solubility products are calculated from multiplying the concentration of the aqueous ions produced when the salts are dissolved, all raised to the appropriate powers. So, for example, the Ksp of silver chloride is the concentration of silver ion to the power of 1 because the coefficient is 1 times the concentration of chloride ions to the power of 1. So the more soluble the salt, the higher the concentration of the aqueous ions and therefore the higher the value of Ksp. So you can see here that silver chloride, although not very soluble, but it is much more soluble than silver iodide. Now let's take a look at the reaction in ammonia. When ammonia is added, it will react with the free silver ion to give a soluble silver diamine complex. When silver ion is eliminated from the solution by forming a more stable complex ion, this equilibrium shifts to the right, producing more free silver ions and reduces or dissolves silver chloride solid. So adding excess or concentrated ammonia drives this equilibrium to the right, causing more silver salt to dissolve. These effects are more apparent in silver chloride than silver iodide because silver chloride is much more soluble in water than silver iodide. With silver iodide, the concentration of the aqueous ion products are so small that there are no visible changes in terms of the amount of undissolved solid remaining. So it seems like silver iodide does not dissolve in ammonia.